Watch me spot a cave so uh, a crystalline sulfur now. After all that effort, just see it lying around. I just wanted to have enough so I could be more or less convinced that I have enough of everything to be safe. Another Reaper skeleton. Reminds me of uh, Monster Hunter. At the beginning of Monster Hunter, you're introduced to the Great Jagras and it looks really intimidating. And then it just gets shit on constantly. <laughs> like, look at this guy kick the Great Jagras' ass. Look at this thing kick the Great Jagras' ass. And it's like, they don't even waste time in that game. You fit, by the time you're done with the first level, you're already watching something kick the Great Jagras' ass. It's really an odd visual. And in this game, the Reaper's the big scary first Leviathan thing that you have to deal with. But in the area of the other creatures, you just see dead Reapers all around. Like it becomes the measuring stick by which everything else is made threatening. Which is funny because of course, the thing that actually attacked me and actually caused me damage was a Reaper and none of the other creatures did. I got attacked like twice by a ghost Leviathan, but it was like a love tap bump where I just took a little damage and had to deal with that. Alright, so we're back in Bulb Zone. Isn't it weird how fast it is to get back out? So my HQ's that way. Work on getting there. Be a little careful, because this... This is roughly where I was when I got attacked by that Reaper. Although the other Reaper seemed weirdly docile and not that interested in me when I was in my Cyclops. Am I under attack right now? Is it just you guys? Just you guys. Yeah, they're all around and they're right under me. Reef back! Where you at? Reef back, buddy. There's more bulbs. Engine powering up. I have to go silent. I don't want those things attacking me. Pretty sure I'd be in trouble if that thing attacked me. With its electric attacks. Jesus. Oh, I'm under attack, aren't I? Shit. Book it. <laughs> Book it. I'm out. There's so many in this. Oh, that's the crash! That was the original crash I was around. Reef back. And want more. Yeah, the, this is the first ones I ever saw were around here. That's the crash I was navigating. Did I ever actually explore this crash? I think I was more dealing with local, local issues and never actually scanned the, the crash itself. Engine powering down. Are you still rigged for silent running? Does it matter that you're rigged for silent running when you're also powered down? I don't know. Turn off just in case it's consuming power. We burned- oh! A school went through. Are we tilted? I think we are. I, uh, I don't want to see that, that. Hey! I don't want to see that Leviathan picture every time I open my PDA. That was an unfortunate screen to leave that on. Yeah, this is where I was when I got attacked for the first time. I was all freaked out. I was trying to figure out how to get down there. There was more reasons. I had the. There was the threats of the fact that there was a Reaper nearby, but I didn't know where it was anymore. And then there was all the new stuff I was freaked out about. But in addition to that, I was dealing with the fact that, uh... If I went slightly deeper, my... If I went even a little bit deeper, my, uh... Seamoth would be destroyed. And so I couldn't go any deeper because my Seamoth was at risk. Ooh. Egg? That's a new one. I think I saw that at the exhibit. But not in real life yet. Or, I mean, not in person where I can get it yet. There was rubies here the whole time? 
What? Oh, get two of them and they can mate. Whatever it is. There's a bunch of them here. There was rubies here the whole time. Am I under attack right now? Not a good sound. Those are eye eyes, right? Not the mesmers. I don't know if that's the same egg or not. That's the same egg. You can leave it. Uraninite. What? Dude, this cave had uraninite and rubies this early. That's trippy. That was so long ago, I can't see shit right now. Oh, that wasn't the surface. Wow. That was early access to some resources. Scannable? Oh, just it's just a scanner room fragment. I wish the scanner icon would only show up when it's actually a new thing. Which it usually is it usually works that way, but not for uh human scannable things. Which is weird. That'd make the scan that'd make it less useful, right? Like, wow, look at all these scannable things. You mean normal human society, Mr. Scanner? Yes, wow, look, they're amazing. I'm like, what? That'd be an annoying pop-up in, in real life. I was freaking out about all this normal, mundane human shit that's surrounded with, which is where which is normally what most of the stuff around it would be. What did you react to? Plant pot? Is it the one I already know about? Nope, basic plant pot. I got a new version of a plant pot? What were the other ones called? I had a composite before. Okay. I guess the composite's more bulby looking. And that's weird or something. I had to go deal with the fact that I'm drowning. Also that I'm blind! Okay. Captain. All systems online. Uh, this is a pretty tame chunk of the map. No, I don't want to lose my skin. Uh, repair. Let's get rid of repair, I guess. I need a flashlight. It's so dark in there, I need a flashlight. And I don't want to have this thing out all the time, because that makes navigation weird, because I'm moving super speed. Old systems online. Where was the way in? We're getting new recipes this late. There it is. That little moment there really speaks to how I had trouble getting into the Aurora. When that kind of difficulty happens. This is just the top. Oh, this is going for a while. This is one of those scary tunnels that Mick gets me drowned, unless there's another exit. There is. More water. That's the... I think... I, yeah, I saw that... I saw that entrance to that debris earlier. From the other side. What? Why is the... Why is... The, why is the paper... Blue, purpley? Purpley paper. Ah! Uh, you could have had a grow bed so early! You were right here, dude! But I never checked inside this thing. Data box, what do you got? <laughs> Alright, well, nothing. Nothing we already had. At least that, I mean, on one hand, it would have been cool to find something, but on the other hand, I would have been kicking myself for not having that the entire playthrough. Because I came here so early. I need to get out of here before I drown. Where the hell's the vent? How do I leave? There it is. 
that's how you get yourself drowned. You lose access, you lose uh, track of the play way, way you got in, and you're in the middle of running out of air. Alright, so there's a composite plant thing, and there was... What? Light stick, for, oh, it's just light stick invention. Disappointing. Am I forgetting how to get out again? Help me. Reef back, I'm drowning. We need to imitate the call of the reef backs. <laughs> we can escape. Yeah, I never checked that. I never checked this place. I could have had access to grow beds so early. I don't know if that's a. Uh, uh. No, it, it wouldn't be an underwater grow bed because it was above water. I mean, it's underwater now, but it was in a. It was originally just in a cabin. That would have been an above water grow bed. Would have been nice to have. Got more weird eggs to hatch back home. That's cool. And you ran a night and all that other stuff. Getting a little annoyed with this crap, so let's make another one. Uh, so many tabs. Quartz. One quartz. Because full, full, uh, inventories get annoying, so let's make, uh, I'm running out of good places to put something like this, aren't I? Screw it. Right here instead of the, in front of the modification station. There we go. So much screen being taken up. We're doing alright overall. Cool. All right, back to it. Let's get home. <sighs> the exact, the exact thing I was worried would happen happened. By the way, where I was like, if we, if we put that thing in our HQ, if I take the uh, dialet away from the HQ, then I'm just gonna have to go retrieve it again. Whoa! Cool cliff. I don't think I saw that before. I guess it's just the giant roots of the mushroom forest. I have to rely on my radar so much because I can't see shit around here. Okay, am I am I gonna die in a minute here? Am I gonna die? <laughs> Let me know, game. Help forest. HQ. I actually want to go to the Neptune, kind of. Let's, uh, let's, let's hatch my eggs, or put them in so they can hatch later. And then I'll go to the Neptune, which is past that anyway. Maybe I'll, might even dock my sea prawn so I can go get my sea moth. I don't know. This is my exact concern I listed. I was like, I don't want to move. I, I might kind of want to go back the slow way because I was thinking if I take my sea moth and then I don't end up coming back that way, then the sea moth's just kind of wasted. Oh, let's watch out. This area's full of floaters. I don't really want to see what that does to me in this thing. Look, we're back at normal ass familiar areas. Hooray. Getting back out actually didn't take a long time. This game is definitely one you can only experience for the first time once. And that's always true, but I mean like there's... In particular, kind of like Dark Souls and other stuff like that, there's just that thing where when you play it again it feels so short. 
and I feel like once, like, I, for large parts of this playthrough, I didn't know what was going to happen or even what the structure of the campaign was. I spent chunks of this playthrough not even really having, like, a through line. I was just kind of blindly uh, absorbing new technologies and learning new things. And that was all I was doing, not knowing, uh, what, how I was going to ultimately live or win at this game. I'm hitting things. Hey, you're out of the water. Hey, you got my camera. Oh, there's just a lot of you here. Okay. Did I take you all the way up here just to get you in, in trouble here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I had too much confidence. I've been through here with my Cyclops before, so I was like, I can do it. I, I've already verified this works. Let's just go. Okay, we're just going to back out of the entire biome and go around it real quick. There we go. Wow. You get really stuck. But it doesn't seem to do much damage to you. We'll go around this side. Because, yeah, the, the other side of my base has a cliff on it, which is very useful. I mig kind of migrated towards there with my moon pool and everything. Realizing that said cliff was a good place to camp my vehicle. I didn't really take damage. I saw it inching downward, but the Cyclops seems to just automatically heal itself as long as... No fires or ruptures came came out. Here's the big old cliff. That's much more Cyclops friendly. <sighs> Remember when I revamped this entire base because I was sick, and then we immediately went on the giant expedition where I would never see the base again for the most part. That was a that was a time that was a time that happened. Let's... Oh. There we go. Oops, don't take it out of there. Zero, 43. There's a zero. My goal is to grab all the spent power cells because we're about to go in the base. So I can work on that. There we go. We're back, you guys. We're back. Grab the eggs. Egg, egg. Kind of irrelevant. Neat. Other stuff. Shell sack, egg, egg, egg. The Cyclops is home, you guys. It's still so brightly colored. I get to re I get to re appreciate its color because I haven't been in such a vibrant and bright environment for a while. Hey, I never lost it. It didn't die. Mission accomplished, I guess. Its namesake succeeded. Really, overall, uh, Subnautica is not a super dangerous or super threatening game. It just taps into some phobias, but largely it's a wander around, have a chill time, do a bunch of tasks, neato game. Just the premise is inherently scary for me and many other people. Down. How you guys doing in here? Got one of those and a bunch of those. Is that your maximum height? It was up here is the... Yep, there's the port. Yep, pick up blood oil. Is it just one at a time? No, not one at a time. It just doesn't... Oh, you can just harvest out the sides of it too. So you get a bunch of blood oil out of this thing. 
Inventory is full now. Alright. Creature egg number one. Creature egg number two. That one's gonna be cool. It's gonna be the lightning thing. But presumably in a docile state where it won't be dangerous. There's those guys. I don't really know what those are. And one of you guys. There you go. And I had been commanded by the audience to do this. Yeah. Uh, there's an exit hatch down there, isn't there? Yeah. Let's take a look. Hey. What's up? Oh, there you go. Command to stop follow. So does it just follow me around? Like, hey, what's up? Here we go. So everything else, it seems like you don't want to take them out of the tank because they can't... They're tank grown and non-aggressive and so on, but weirdly this one creature, if you're supposed to kind of take it out of the tank, I guess? A little odd. Ah! Hey, that was startling. I was doing something. Hey, how you doing? You're getting in the way of my menu interactions. <laughs> I'm gonna plant a couple of those. Diversify this thing a little bit. I don't really need the gel sacks on that scale anymore. Uh, I kind of want to see what, how big these grow in normal water. Probably the same height as the other one. It might be, might be kind of cool to see them sticking up. It's a pygmy bulb bush. Have you grow up to? There'll be two of those, two of those, and that in the middle. Look at you. I like the idea of being able to make a bunch of diverse organisms all hang out here. Hey. Oh, aren't you a little nightmare? <laughs> so it just kind of wanders around and is cute. Evidently. How much do you- yep, you follow. Do you follow vehicles? Like... One thing is that at this point in the game, like, I'm so vehicle-focused, I'd be concerned about how- whether you could keep up or not. But also, I'd be concerned about, like... Uh, how much danger are you in, generally speaking? Let's see. Command to stop follow. There we go. So now it won't follow me. It's just gonna hang out around my- just hang out in the area around my base and make it look more friendly. Yeah, it looks like it. It takes commands like a doggy. And I just have an excess of these resources. Don't suppose anything already hatched, no? Look at them pulsing. Yeah, they don't do that when you find them. So, knowing what we learned from the Sea Emperor eggs, it seems to suggest that eggs... All the eggs on this planet have this thing where you need you need to, like, satisfy the requirements for said egg in order, in order to hatch. And it seems like the eggs that you find in the environment don't have the satisfied conditions to hatch. Whereas this containment unit actually does a good job of doing that, apparently. So now, like, immediately these things are just writhing around like crazy, like they're gonna hatch. Because... The, I, it's probably because the planet itself is dangerous. That's a really weird visual. Probably because the planet itself is so, like, kind of poisonous and kind of in a bad place and it's infected with Kara and all these other bad things are happening that nothing wants to hatch there. One idea, potentially, to, to suggest at least. Pretty much just dumping excess right now. That was the main thing I wanted to do, was just plant some of that stuff. Oh, a membrane, membrane tree and an eye stock. I do want those. I'm going to... Can't remove one that's growing, I don't think. There we go. Membrane tree and eye stock. There we go. 
That'd be a that'd be a cool little variety. The membrane tree is is pretty cool in general, so I just kind of want to have one of those around. There's also one in, in no, there's not one in there right now. I was trying to figure out how to get blood oil, which didn't really matter ultimately, because then almost immediately I just went to a zone that had tons of blood oil, and I manufactured as much as I'd ever ever need of those resources. So the irony is not lost on me. So we're clear. Yeah, there's a membrane tree in there, and an eye stock in there. But I don't really use this so much now anymore, other than just being a scenic thing that's under my floor. That damn thing will never get fixed. That kelp can't finish growing. They almost shouldn't let you plant it. They should- they should only- they should tell you, like, you need a taller containment chamber if you want this particular plant in here. And require you to, to double it. Because it doesn't fit. And then it just will never finish growing, so you can't cut it away. I think the only way to remove it is to destroy the entire chamber. Just like, that feels like an oversight that it works that way. Let's see. I don't think I currently need Disco Cave. Definitely don't need Tree Base anymore. And the Cyclops is in the, 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 the Seamoth in the distance is enough, so I don't need the Forest Portal. So I just have HQ, Neptune, Prance, yeah, my vehicles. There we go. So next thing I wanted to deal with was, uh, all ass to my Neptune. Which is, there it is. Uh, oh. Good? Good. Ah, you guys are done. There we go. That'll keep the base busy while I'm gone. I like my base. I wish there was more to do with it. Just speaking generally to the idea of like... I wish there was a lot more... I'm just thinking like I wish there was more game. So that my base in its current state could be useful for longer. But I... It really feels like we're running out. Which is fine. It's just I grew attached to the base I, I built up. So I want excuses to still use it. But that would just me be- that would basically just me be, be me indefinitely prolonging the playthrough forever. Which some of you would be in favor of. But I'm ready to move forward. Interested in seeing what the audience is gonna pick next. Having been with this game for like three months or something? Is this gonna be- this is going to be like Zelda, where the the hype wave becomes a thing. So now, every every game consecutively is another open world survival game. The level of playability is so all over the place, though. So many open world survival games are just not interesting moment to moment in a way that this game tends to be. This game kind of captures the imagination a bit and is more captivating and so on in a more Minecraft sort of way. While being vastly different, of course. Whereas so many other entries in the genre are so grindy and janky and awkward and don't have any of the appeals. Alright. So, back to what I was doing. Is there a play steal in here? I don't have a play steal. Alright. So, one titanium ingots. I think it's two lithium. We needed three nickel. We needed one wiring kit. Advanced or normal? I think it was normal. I could just grab both, fuck it. Uh, An arrow gel, which should be in the gel sacks. All right, so I don't have any arrow gel, so I need two gel sacks and two ruby. It's two, right? Yeah, it's two arrow gel. I think that's just one to one, right? Yeah. I still have this written down from earlier, so I'm going off of those notes.
Yeah. Admittedly, nighttime might look a little cool while constructing. Nighttime might look a little cool with some some use of bright lights and whatnot, maybe a, contrasting with the di the darkness during the construction. But overall, I'm thinking, eh, I'm gonna construct a big, cool thing. I kind of want to be able to see it when I construct it. Generally speaking, look how bright it got. I'd like to be able to see it, I'd like you guys to be able to see it. That's really big. That's really big. Damn. <laughs> Construction bot don't play around. All right, what's next? And do I already have everything for it? Ooh. Ooh. All right. So, crystalline sulfur times four, ionite times four, ion power cell times four, clay steel ingot. I'm sorry, ion power cell times two. I guess I was doing rule of threes there for a second and just felt. Nice and even. A little scared. Do I have four sulfur? <laughs> I have four, don't I? Please? This is like the test I was worried about. I really hope that I pass it. Welcome aboard, mm -hmm. All online. Oh my god. <laughs> I have exactly four. Okay. There's my four kyanites. So we passed that test. I get another place to link it. Did I pick one up? I didn't see it. There it is. I need to pick up two. I forgot. There we go. And ion power cells. So I need an ion power cell in order to build my rocket? That just seems weird to me because I, I based that on alien technology. So I don't need alien technology to build my rocket. But uh, the ion power cell may have... Uh, the ion power cell may just be a normal human technology. It's just I needed... It's just that alien technology gave me the blueprint because the PDA was able to reinvent it basically when it was already normal normal alien technology. I don't know, the part of the tech system don't make sense in general. Like, if I know that I need an ion power cell to make that thing, then how do I not already know how to make an ion power? It was a mesmer egg? Those were, oh no, those were mesmer eggs? That's terrifying. That's what the little glowing eggs were, weren't they? I let, I let the mesmers breed? That was a weird choice. Maybe the, what, what does a friendly mesmer behave like? Probably nothing, but you know. All right, so ion power cells, that's a gold, a silver, and a cube, right? How many cubes did I bring? I brought some, I brought some cubes, we're good. What, what blueprint do I currently have? That's list, being listed here. Oh, the fuel reserve, yeah. How do I make an ion power cell? Oh, right, two ion batteries and silicon rubber. Uh... Ion battery is an ion cube, gold, silver. So four gold, four silver. Four gold. Four silver. Four cubes. We're big on the number four here, huh? And then two rubber to make the four batteries into two cells. Let's 
Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Did I mess up? No, that's four. I thought I made three. We're about to get some shit done. All right, so I think I'm. I might be good. I would interpret that as the game testing me. Like that's how much. That's like you need this much of these resources to to proceed. Because each layer of crafting this thing seems to craft it require resources from a different period of the game. So the fact that I had enough for them this time probably means that's it. That's probably the only time they ask for those resources in the building process. They did ask for place deal again. But the uh, the resources that it asked for me last to give it last time, like nickel, let's see, uh, it was nickel and aerogel, yeah, that that's like a middle game ish. I'm in the deeper parts of the surface areas, or I'm beginning to go into the green river type resources, and now this one is like these resources are like you've been to the deep parts of the deep river, and you've been to the lava zones because that's how you get the kyanite. And specifically, I think the reason why Ion Power Cell is in this recipe is partly because they wanted to have one of the requirements for you building this rocket be something from the final building where the Sea Emperor was. You only get Ion Power Cell recipe by scanning the Ion Generator thing that's in the Sea Emperor building. So if you didn't have that, you wouldn't have that. This... Is this it it? Or is there another stage? Also, excuse me, I get to name my rockets. You better let me paint this thing uh, orange and purple and call it the uh, Don't Fly <laughs> or something like that. Wow, the name Neptune is illegible, by the way. I could see the white text floating at first, but now that you've built the white on white, I can't see the name anymore. It's right there is where the Neptune name is. It's illegible. It's white on white. See, I'm way better at a design. That's eye-catching. That's iconic. This is shit. What's next? Enameled glass. What? 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 The Cyclops shield generator is required? Uh, then it's just another ingot enamel glass computer chip. That's no big deal. I need a Cyclops shield generator. I don't even have the original copy of that. Fuck. Fuck. In the water. Achoo. The Cyclops shield generator. I don't have the blueprint for that, right? Otherwise I would have made it, because I wanted a shield generator. That sounds neat. Wait. No, no, I already have that. Never mind, I panicked. I panicked and thought it was a recipe I don't have. Yeah, no, I already I already have it. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's just polyaniline. Okay. Whew. You scared me. Power cell, polyaniline, advanced wiring kit. All right. I'll just grab any random one of you. Because I don't really... doesn't really matter anymore. Polyaniline and advanced wiring kit. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to have to... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. That's in here. I had to remind myself how to make that. Polyaniline, gold, and hydrochloric acid. I was worried. In part because I'm like, I'm like, no, this is the day I'm beating this game, is what I'm thinking in my brain. So I'm like, no, don't blindside with me. Don't blindside me with the, uh, the concept that my momentum's going to be broken. I'm like, we're doing this. Because if, if I didn't have the recipe, I'd have to, like what, explore in random directions across the map until I found another crash that I've never found before? Ta-da! There we go. Cyclops shield generator. 
Uh, what else was it? I don't remember. There's another ingot. Enameled glass. I got focused on the scary thing. Uh... Soccer tooth and glass. Oh, there's floaters in there, I forgot. Uh, I already have a glass right here. And then it was another ingot, because they just... They just put that every step of the way, basically. People judged me for how many titanium ingots I have. But look who's the joker now. There we go. I'm missing one thing, I think. Peter chip, which is in my... Which I already have in gold, because it was taken out of something else. There we go. Ah. We're doing it. We're doing it. He's bothering me that you're underwater. I'm just gonna power you up for this one thing for no good reason. Zoop. Engine powering down. There we go. Getting dark. God, I'm stuck. There we go. Just sprinting everywhere in a mad dash. Like I'm in some kind of hurry. Nope. Lava lizard. That was a lava lizard egg. Just discovered ampule and lava lizards. Those are the eggs I had. It was a lava lizard, uh, a, a cuttlefish, an ampule, and two mesmers, I think. I'll have to go back to look at them, obviously. Maybe I can put one of them in a time capsule. Because can't I make the time the time capsule next? Or is that involved in the rocket process or something else? Like, there's the time capsule mechanic that I get to do. Presumably, because I keep getting it from everyone else. Can't see it from up there, so I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna get that up there just in time for it to be done crafting anyway. That... One rocket online. That was a... That was a, was a sound. Enter rocket. On the ladder. Hydraulic systems. Storage. You can bring stuff with you. Communications array. This is a cool little vehicle, isn't it? Auxiliary power unit. Whoa. Whoa, you're a cool vehicle. Primary CPU. The time capsule. Ah. Uh, I need an image and a thing to put into it. Six slots worth. Activate support system. A lot going on here. This is if I want to leave. Communications are right. Yeah, turn all those things on. Time capsule is one of the three. So yeah, so you turn on the six things and you get to get out of here. All right. So I need to figure out what to put in the time capsule and then turn everything on. And then you go, I assume? And these are just switches and whatnot. Admittedly, maybe you have to do something to like... What the f fuck? Huh.
I have the weirdest physics issues in this game. What did that? Why'd that happen? Wow, it's a good thing that this thing didn't just get destroyed. That would've been bad. <laughs> if this thing tipped over like that in real life, I'd have to build a new fucking rocket. I think what happened is the door closed on me when I was going through it and the game didn't know how to physics that, so it just freaked out the entire object, because this is all one physics entity, all combined. What do you say now? <gasps> you can customize it! 